Troy, New York is the home of Uncle Sam, an iconic character of American history. But the Collar City also helped launch one of the best known Christmas poems in history, which is celebrating a big birthday this year and next. While the words are well known, the author is a bit of a mystery. It's the time of year when Christmas traditions are seen and heard. It was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. That famous line of the classic Christmas poem, A Visit from St. Nicholas, has been read countless times, even here at News 10 back in 2009. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. Author Pamela McColl has spent the last 10 years researching Twas the Night history. And it turns 200 this Christmas Eve, so it's been enjoyed by generation after generation. Her newly published book shows how the image of Santa we've come to know and love started with this poem. It's benevolent, it's kind, it's jolly and fun for children, and it doesn't have any threat of punishment or birch and rod like some of the poems before did. It was first published anonymously in the Troy Sentinel on December 23rd, 1823. That's the Troy Sentinel. That's the first illustration ever. Isn't that fun? A plaque near the now defunct newspaper building noting its place in holiday history. But the writing credit given to Clement Seymour is not without controversy. While the story goes he wrote the poem as a Christmas gift for his children, reading it to them in 1822, a year before it was published, the family of a Hudson Valley farmer claims it's the work of Henry Livingston Jr. And we're always looking for more, you know, clues to who wrote it. You know, we're all literary sleuths, you know, <laughs> in the museum world, you know, trying to find interesting documents. I came here to Troy in 2014 for the first time to participate in a mock trial of the authorship debate, and it was great fun. That trial ended in a hung jury, but McColl gives the verdict to more. Some of the words have been changed over the years. And they changed it right off the bat. I mean, the Troy Sentinel um, edition was modified by editors who just decided that they didn't like the punctuation or they didn't like a word or, you know, and even Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas in 1828 changes from Happy Christmas to Merry Christmas. The artwork has also changed over the years. And Pamela says readers of her book will be surprised by just how many illustrators have been inspired to put their spin on St. Nick. But even as some words changed, a feeling of goodness remains from that right jolly old elf. A connection across generations that's become a holiday tradition with families reading it out loud together. I think it's important to recognize that it's the most famous piece of literature ever written in the English language. And it's the most recited, the most collected, and the most republished. And it's an American poem written in New York. While you can argue its place in history, as well as who first gave us these oft-repeated words, there is no denying the joy shared over the centuries by children who listen to the poem before nestling all snug in their beds. And isn't that what Christmas is all about? It's not the presents so quickly unwrapped and later put aside, but the moments of family togetherness that turn into memories of love to be cherished forever. But I heard him exclaim, er, he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Had such a fun time learning more about the history yeah, of that book I had and no the idea, local connections. Uh, so we have a link to Pamela McCall uh, when we put the story on our website. You can find more about it. She's uh, touring all around the Northeast and see if you can get a book signed by her. That's really, I, I knew some local connection, but that mm -hmm. really taught me a lot. And Kat, but we also have the original 2009 version that we all read when we were here, and I, you're in it. I remember that. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun when we did that. As a, we all did a, a section of it. You remember that? It was it was pretty cool. Yeah, we we all did read the night before Christmas, Christmas Eve, right? 